OK, it is that time now when we get to meet another one of our talented expats. And tonight the hero is a professional who knows all about Russian labour markets and the work ethics of the locals. This should be interesting. Uh, he's a hard worker, though, uh, but in the place that uh, is Moscow, he found enough options for a hard day's night. Let's take a look at his story. Hi, my name is Luke Jones. I've been living here in Russia for the last 20 years, 10 of which I've been working for Antal Russia. So why don't you come in and I'll show you around. I was a teenager when Mikhail Gorbachev came to power and suddenly Russia started to be shown on Western TV a bit more often, a bit more positively, slowly, and suddenly it became possible to come and visit. And I first came in February 1991. Okay, so here we are in the offices of Antel Russia. This is where it all happens. Antel is a British executive recruitment company. We've been in Russia for nearly 20 years. In that time, we've found thousands of people, great new jobs. So let me show you around and give you an idea about what it's all about here. If you take a look into the offices, here are some of our consultants who are busy finding people just like you, brand new jobs. So if you are looking for something new, give us a call. The impression abroad about Russia, again, is still fairly negative. It's very rare that you read a positive article in the Western media uh, about Russia. So a lot of people do think that they land in Moscow at Cheremetsevo airport and they're going to get murdered, mugged and raped the moment they land. Uh, then they come here and they think, well, actually, um, you know, it's fairly normal. The work ethic, uh, I hate to say it in Russia, is not great. You know, people are used to showing up in order to receive a salary. And there's a lot of people who don't see any connection between the wage they receive at the end of the month and the actual job they do, because under communism there wasn't one. I encourage people to refer us uh, candidates, but that person will still go through the same hiring process as everybody else. Whereas in Russia, you know, there is a little bit of a, you know, he is an idiot, but he is my friend and I trust him. Um, and especially in state organizations, that's not going to go away anytime soon. My message to anybody who's worried about doing business in Russia is don't read the Western press. Come out, have a look for yourselves, um, go to a bar in the evening and have a chat with some uh, expats who are doing business here. And they'll give you the uh, real picture. And I bet they're making a lot more money than they would do back home and probably having a lot more fun too. That's the end of the working day. This is where the fun starts. And this is what Moscow's really all about. It's a 24-hour city. It never sleeps. Foreigners do tend to mix quite well with each other, which is interesting because if you look at the Russians in London, a lot of them will do anything possible not to meet each other. But foreigners here do tend to get together. So often we'll go to a bar and watch a Premier League football game. You know, obviously, one of the big attractions of Russia is there's some extremely pretty girls here. This is where it happens after work in Moscow. A few friends, a few drinks, and even some football. And a few extras if you get really lucky. Cheers. Yeah, that's the real Moscow that we know and love. Uh, a story well told. Okay, we uh, haven't got too much time left, but we'll just squeeze in a few more.